Hello, everyone. It's time to defeat the biggest of crabs, the Brine King. And you know, the bigger they are, the more meat they have in them. What do you think I was going to say? The harder they fall? No, I'm talking about crabs. Crabs have meat, they're delicious. For my birthday, I wanted to try um, or get a what I consider like a once in a uh, may not be once in a lifetime, but you know, basically, I wanted to try it once and see how it was. And we went to Red Lobster, and I had the three pound lobster. That's right, it's expensive, fuck. and I don't think it's worth that much better than a smaller lobster. But there was a lot of meat in it. Um, my father, he is someone who basically just takes the meat from the tail and the claws and like it's done. Me on the other hand, no, I need um, all of it <laughs> as much as I can. So I sat in there for a few hours and basically picking out all the meat out of the lake and stuff like that. He couldn't sit for that long, so I am taking home half of it and hadn't even gotten into the to the legs yet, or to, or to the big, meaty claws. You know, it was, it was tasty. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, clarified butter ended up in a lot of times getting to a hard point, though. Which is a little bit annoying. But hey, you know, you just pop it back in the microwave and it's good to go. Oh boy. That's right, so I was going to talk about food more, because food is a topic that most people can generally um, talk about. I I made recently um, chashu, and no, I didn't sneeze. <laughs> this is to make the joke. Um, but basically, it is a Chinese-style pork, and you know the the barbecue pork you get like the Chinese restaurants that's really red well that's chashu but um it's just called barbecue pork basically and it's, it's not the same the ones you get from China as the ones obviously that you get from the Chinese restaurant oh my god it's the slowest annoying are you not there we go he's dead okay um yeah so I went and got a recipe from there's these really nice um, uh, YouTubers who make um, Chinese cooking, and they're basically their uh, YouTube is called Chinese Cooking Demystified, and it was basically off of them that I learned of you know how to make the chashu sauce from scratch. And I did, and. I don't think I really want to do it again. It took too long. It took like two hours to make just the sauce for this. And then you had to marinate the pork for two days. And it's like, I can marinate the pork for two days. I, mean, I, I cut it up myself. I just got a large piece of Boston butt and cut it up myself. And you know, it's just, it just having to take a long time to make the sauce and then you have to make the sauce and you have to let cook it for several hours. And because of the large amount of pork, it took like another four hours on top of it. So like the entire thing took way longer than I wanted to spend on it. So and they suggest you could just use Lee Kum Ki's um chashu sauce. And so that's what I'm gonna go for next time. And when I make this. All right, next time I make it. And here's the conversation. Is, is this a lobster or a crab? What do you think his gen genus would be? I mean, it looks kind of like a crab, maybe a big hermit crab. I don't think... And you'll see it in just a second, too, though. No. Say what you think. I wonder what hermit crab tastes like. Oh, maybe it's a hermit crab. I don't know. Certainly is big, though. Oh, 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 we're just barely staying up there. We are just barely able to tank that without having to move. <laughs> Probably tank it a bit more if I had the um, effect where I can stand still. This is also where 
I think cold resistance is very good in lightning, because you get hit by those, you're gonna die. This is also the fact that, um, or what I've said before, that I don't think lightning and cold are quite as important as having, um, fire, just because ignites, especially from bosses, can hurt a lot, and usually ends up killing me. Usually it's dots that kill me more than um, physical hits, because I, I prefer tankier, I prefer either like really glass cannon high damage builds, or tankier and also kind of damaging builds. Not, it's not going to be as damaging, but it's still going to be plenty um, damaging to where you're not feeling like, man, I'm just wailing on this enemy for hours. Although I did feel like that when I was fighting Katana this last time. Uh, whereas other builds, like I've had lead builds that I've done and they just feel like, oh, he's dead in three seconds. Oh no, I died like four times though while fighting him because, well, I just couldn't take the damage. Oh. Oh no. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. It's not a big deal. He's just gonna die. Oh, no, no, no. See? It's easy. Yeah. Just sit there and take it. Right on the jaw. Not a big deal. There's a couple times it's like, oh, I don't have my health, but... Also, this build has quite a bit more health than I'm used to, in that, generally speaking, I only have, like, 3k health towards the end of the, um, the end of the thing. Uh, towards the end of Act 10. But right now we're pretty close already. So here we are. And now we're going to be, yay, we defeated the giant hermit crab. I don't know if they're tasty or not. And we're going to get on the way to Act 7. Yeah. All right. Act 7. Woo. Uh, I can't do the fake hype yet. Maybe eventually. If I get used to this kind of doing this more. I've only been doing this for a little over a month. Um, and I've also had ups and downs of it. Let's see. But I'm, I'm sure everyone does. Especially when they're first starting. And I think that those ups and downs usually... <clears throat> pardon me. Um, cause people to want to leave. Plus it's not instant. And I, I understand that. And, you know, I think the more people that leave, the more people that will watch me, maybe. Okay, that's probably a bad way of putting it, but it's it's kind of true if there's less people making Hello. Um, the same kind of content you do, then there's then you're going to end up just going there to see it. Or you won't watch it at all. That would make me kind of sad, but, you know, maybe it'll happen. That's just kind of how it's going to be. Let's see. Second. All right. We're gonna go ahead and get this silver locket at least before I end the video. Still got some time. Um, you know, and 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 I don't know. I I like talking about food uh, a little bit. I don't think I like talking much as Buddha. I don't like talking about like not how much. You know, food's a weird thing. In that, you know, the whole calories in, calories out thing. And when you're cooking at home, unless you measure everything exactly, but I don't like to measure exactly. Because from day to day, I like my food a little bit different. And, you know, some days I like it salty, some days I like it salty. Some days I want it to be very plain, and so it's like. I don't know, it's hard. If following a recipe, I've never been exactly. 100% to it, said so I kind of just adjust as I go along. I think that's what most home cooks feel like. And then again, I don't, maybe there aren't very many home cooks anymore though either, so. Hmm. But yeah, that's just always kind of a thing. Kind of been my thing to do. Um. I think, I think that I don't think, and that thinking 
something that should happen more often. But I'm almost kind of just blabbering on to blather on. I, th I think that the part of my problem is sometimes is that I want to talk about something that's constructive. And so I'm trying to gather things that are kind of like, I don't know, things that people might want to listen to or know about, as opposed to just kind of blabbing. But at the same time, um, I have trouble gathering together non-blabby things. So, and I, th I think most, or not most people do, but um, unless you got, there are, when I specifically, before I start video, if I'm thinking about something I want to talk about, then I can talk about that for a little bit. I end up running out of words to say after a little while. In which case, um, I, I don't necessarily have something prepared next. And, and sometimes I want to say something, but I don't know how to phrase it correctly. And I'm slowing down. Uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna find this here. I'm gonna follow the road and get to the bounce pad, the warp pad, and then probably, you know, call it there. Um, the next time you guys hear me, hopefully, based on the sequence of numbers, it will be um, with my new mic. If it's not, I'll go ahead and cry about it and whine about it on here. So yeah, didn't that turn out good? I made mistake. I'm crying. Realistically, that shouldn't happen. Sounded fine. I don't know why it wouldn't be fine. Hmm. Always keep your eyes. All right, before I go, I'm gonna go ahead and sign this point. I go along this way still. And I'm going to say, hey, you know, please like, comment, subscribe. Unless you don't want to, then don't do it. But I prefer if you did. And, you know, I'll catch you guys next video. Bye-bye.